Good morning, Cathedral. We hope you had a great long weekend. I'm Brianna. And I'm Camilla with your morning announcements for Tuesday, February 18th. Attention all grade 12 students. Are you interested in rewarding and economically attractive opportunities suited for university students? Did you apply to McMaster University for September? The Royal Hamilton Light Infantry is looking to enroll junior officers into the infantry. These are part-time employment positions ideal for university students. An information session will be held on Tuesday, March 4th at 8 p.m. at the Armories at 200 James Street North. The aim is to identify young men and women who want the opportunity to generate funds to help pay for their school expenses and to develop leadership skills through part-time through part employment during the school year and through full-time summer employment. If students have any questions or would like more info, please speak to one of the co-op teachers in the Student Services Office. More information is also posted on the announcements board outside of the Student Council Office. Thank you for Mrs. Tambasco. This is just a reminder to all graduates that valedictorian forms and speeches are due this Friday by 3 p.m. No late entries will be accepted. Please submit your speech and form to Ms. Van Veem in room 325, Ms. Tambone in room 326, Tabone, sorry, in room 326, or the main office. And speaking of graduates, Jostens will be here for one day only this semester. If you'd like to have a grad ring in time for graduation, make sure to place an order in thir on Thursday. Jostens will be here in the forum from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please bring a $60 deposit. Lots of new manga will be available on the bookshelves at the Cathedral Learning Commons starting in March. To celebrate the new manga books, the Learning Commons is holding a Manga Madness contest. Create an interesting, funny 15-second video advertising Manga Madness and submit it to the Learning Commons by February 26. Surprises of iTunes cards or Indigo cards will be awarded to the winners. If you are interested, please see Ms. O'Brien in the Learning Commons for more details. Today is the kickoff for the, new, for the We Love the Annex Food Drive. The Annex needs our help in filling the shelves with food that is needed the most. To make it interesting and a bit of a competition, points are allocated to specific food items that the Annex needs the most. For example, food items such as craft dinner, canned soup, and sidekicks are worth five points each. The full list of points values will be distributed to each period one class along with a box to keep the donations in. Classes that do not receive a box today will receive one tomorrow. The period one class that has the most points at the end of the food drive will be given a class breakfast from the breakfast club. The We Love the Annex food drive will go until the March break. This is a reminder to all choir members of your practice today after school. The jazz band will be rehearsing tomorrow after school. Please come prepared with your music. Thanks for Mr. Walker. And all Eagle Team members are asked to meet in room 110 today after school for a quick meeting. And before we move into sports, Paulo Senner, the cathedral alumnus who is working in Sochi, has sent us an update on Canada's progress in the Olympics, as well as what we can look forward to this week. Good morning, everyone. It's Paulo Senner from uh, Sochi. I'm here at the main press center at uh, Olympic Park uh, in Sochi, of course. Just wanted to give you guys a, a mid-games update. So Canada is now sitting with 16 total medals, four gold, eight silver, and uh, four bronze. We just uh, literally about an hour ago just won uh, a silver in the women's uh, 3,000 meter relay race in short track. Uh, this week we have the men's hockey uh, with the quarterfinals between Canada and either in either Latvia or Switzerland. Um, and then we also have the women who are playing in the final versus the U.S. So everyone's pretty psyched up about that. Um, and then obviously we have a, a bunch of other medal contenders uh, in uh, in sports on the mountain and here on the coast. So um, I'm going to probably see you guys in a couple days. The closing ceremonies is on is on Sunday. So I'll try to do one more update before um, before the games come to a close. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Ciao. Thanks, Paulo. There are a few reminders for athletes. There is practice for the junior and senior boys rugby teams today at 4 p.m. at Soccer World. All ladies interested in playing rugby this season are reminded that your cardio workout will take place today and Thursday this week. As always, please be prompt, prepared, and ready to work. And the boys indoor soccer players are reminded of their practice today and tomorrow after school in our gymnasium. Please do not be late. And now I'll pass it over to Ms. McCabe. 
Good morning, Gales. And yes, it is a good morning. It's a magnificently marvelous Monday, no, Tuesday moment. It's a terrifically tantalizing Tuesday something. Anyway, it is really fantastic because it is a championship week. Yes, we do have one of our boys basketball teams go into the ship. Yeah. That is our midget boys basketball team. The exciting news about this is the game will take place at McMaster. It will be at 3.30 on Thursday, and there will be a buyout of some sort. So there will be more information about this from your student council reps tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, make sure you get your cathedral wear prepared because we know that Burbuff has three teams in the championship. So we are going to need to come out there en masse to really show our community what our gales are made of. So I hope to see you at that game. Just also before uh, I finish, just a reminder, there are some girls volleyball players who need to hand in uniforms from the midget team and the senior team. If I do not get those uniforms by Friday, I will be referring you to your vice principal and you'll have to deal with him instead of me. Have a great day, Gales, and remember, ship on Thursday. Thanks, Miss, and those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.